Martin, you know I hate them. If you'd love me, you'd get rid of them. Oh, come on. Now, that's not fair. Of course I love you. You know I do. Hi, yourself? Yeah, Steve inside? <sighs> we had some new bugs. Ah. Uh. I don't think you're gonna get much work done today, so you might as well stay out here and keep me company. Oh, I'd love to, but I'll have to take a rain check. Steve in a den? Where else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where else? <laughs> chance to look at those transcripts, Larry. I'll, uh... I'll get to them later, I promise. What's with you, anyway? I gotta get this mounted, that's all. You know, the, um, law firm is getting to be a hobby, and this is starting to be a full-time job. Tell you the truth, it's not what I had in mind when we formed this partnership. It's beautiful, isn't it? Whatever turns you on. Now, what about the transcripts? You know, I was going to hang a pair like this right up near the death's head. Quite an honor. Yeah. One of them was injured. It's remarkable. The imprint of the skull is so real, so defined. Yeah. It took me months to find that old beauty. Now I can't find it to make. I wish you could find me one. What kind of a place do you think I run here? <laughs> ah! Go away! Ugh, get out of here! Ugh, it's a wasp. I can't even stay out here by the pool anymore. It's that nest up there. If you just leave them alone. He's starting in again. I don't believe it. I'm gonna get the spray, and I'm gonna kill every last one. Carol! There's no sense in killing them. Man, there's nothing wrong with killing insects. I mean, that's what you do, isn't it? No, it isn't. There's a big difference. I don't just sap them out of existence. I preserve them, beautify them. Ah. Uh. Why don't we all go for a drive someplace? I was going to go out to the marina this afternoon. Let's all go together. I've got some work to finish up. Well, why don't you take Carol? It'll be good for her to get out. It'll be unique for me to get out. That's the best idea you've had all week. I'll only be a minute. You sure you don't want to go? Yep. Hey, look. We've been friends for a long time. Is there something up between you two? No, not really. We've just developed different interests, that's all.
What are you so solemn about? You've hardly said a word since we left the house. Ah, oh, it was just a uh, thinking. Hasn't it hit you that we're alone again? You're getting cold feet, aren't you? Well, I just don't feel comfortable about all this. Steve is my partner and my friend. Oh, come on. He's the one who leaves us alone together. He encourages it. Why not? He trusts us. <laughs> you may think I'm old-fashioned, but I do have this thing about loyalty. It's a little late for that, isn't it? Oh, come on. Let's just have a good time. Life's so short. We owe it to ourselves to have a good time. All right. That old girl's been just about everywhere, I'll bet. Hmm. I wish... I wish we could get on her and sail to all those places. Just the two of us. Just the two of us? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't think I could handle her by myself. Yes, you could. I know you could. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, Larry, look at this. They look like little witch dolls. Just look at those faces. Aren't they cute? Yeah. This one looks like my old maid aunt. <laughs> and very clever. Yeah. Want to buy me one? Come on. Lots of great Why things not? up here. Herbs and medicinals, potions and elixirs. Insects, hey, mister. Tannery, all things <laughs> real and imaginary. Thank you. Lots of great things up here. Herbs and medicinals, potions and elixirs. Insect root, tanner root. Come up. Lots of great things up here. All things real and imagined. How's that? Get away. <laughs> Hey, Larry, let's go up. I saw a leather shop I want to check out. Well, I'll meet you. Okay. Okay. See you later. Come up. Lots of great things up here. Herbs and medicinals, potions and elixirs. like this. But likely you never will again. They're made especially to contain the unusual. Herbs and medicinals, potions and elixirs, insect root, tanner root, all things real and imagined. Um, what's that insect root? My husband's a nut about bugs. Oh, then the handsome gentleman knows all about the power of nature's world. Who? Oh, that's not my husband. He's just a friend. Uh, may I? A dear friend. Yes, very dear. Let me show you something I think you might like to take home. up insects. Ugh. It's very rare, very potent, and uh, very discreet. You use it with boiling water. Works quick as a buzz. What's it for? For your husband. You understand. My, my husband? And for your friendship with a gentleman. What? All you need is this. Uh, an ounce of courage, and no trace will be found. I 
I'm glad you two had a good time. Oh, I wish you'd have come along. You know, it's a shame uh, you don't get a chance to do things together very often. And probably she gets a little uh, bored around the house. Maybe, uh, maybe you ought to spend a little more time with her. I mean, you know, put your collection away for a while. Larry, I appreciate what you're trying to do. I can't say I'm happy about it, but you know what Carol and I suffer from? What? Inertia. We just don't like each other very much anymore. But we're all we've got. And it's tough to disrupt a convenient status quo without having an alternative. Steve, you have your law practice and your collection to occupy your time. But she, uh, I mean, she is an attractive woman. And, well, she could feel neglected. Hey, fellas. How about a drink before dinner? I'm cooking up some special pasta. Oh, I'm afraid I can't stay that long. Oh, well, of course you can. Right? Right. I have a date. All right, one drink. Well, if you've got a date, old buddy, maybe you ought to skip the drinks altogether. I mean, it'll knock you out of commission. You're not getting any younger, you know. Ha <laughs> ha, you speak for yourself. Uh, Steve said he'd be down in a minute. Nice catch you made out there. Say when. When? Why don't you want to stay, Larry? I told you I have a date. Please stop playing games. I want you to stay for dinner. I can't. Well, don't give me that date routine. Because as soon as dinner is over, Steve is going to go off to his collection or up to bed and we'll be alone. It's no routine. I'm trying to find a way of avoiding embarrassment. Oh, Larry. Look, I don't know if you know it or not, but I think he still loves you. I admit there's still some feeling once in a while. I don't know if you'd call it love exactly. But I really don't care. At least not about him. Well, you better start caring. We can't make it this way anymore. At least I can't. Well, I'll get a divorce. Steve is my partner and my friend. And he'd still be in the picture. All you need is this. An ounce of courage. And no trace will be found. Hey, where's my drink? Right here. Ah. sleep. So you came down here? Mm -hmm. Surprised? Yeah, a little. You all right? I've been thinking, Steve. I've been doing a lot of thinking. It hasn't been very good with us lately. I think we ought to talk. Come on, let's have some coffee. Okay.
Maybe we ought to take a vacation. It would help us get back in touch again. You must have spoken to Larry. I had a talk this afternoon, too. Yes, we spoke before he left. He made me realize a lot of things. He's a good man. Good man. For your husband. You understand. We should have taught it out ourselves. And we will. Here's a peace offering. May we both have peace. I'll drink to that. Very potent, very discreet. <sighs> You're dizzy. Works quick as a buzz. passed away, I thought I'd never see the light of day again, and he wasn't nearly as young as your man. Oh, what a terrible thing. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Thank you for coming over, Mrs. Norman. Now that's what neighbors are for. Your man was so calm, easygoing, so sweet. Everything's been taken care of, Mrs. Madden. I think you should try and get some sleep. Would you see that she takes two of these now and one in the morning? They're just a mild sedative. Of course. Good night. Stay with you for a little while if you like. You have your own family to look after. I'll be all right. You just remember, I'm right next door. I will. All you need is this. And uh, an ounce of courage works quick as a buzz. so suddenly. Oh, my God, no. When? A couple
couple of hours ago. We were sitting and, and talking. He grabbed his chest and... It was over before I knew it. Are you all right? Do you want me to come over? Maybe in the morning. I'd appreciate that. See you then. Uh, don't bother, I'll help them out. You're bearing it beautifully. I remember how it was when Kenneth was put in the ground. I don't think I'd ever get over it. Uh, Mrs. Norman, I'll, uh, I'll see her in. If there's anything you need, dear, anything, just call me. I will, and, and thank you, Mrs. Norman. You've been very kind. I still can't believe it. It happened so suddenly. Just no warning at all. There never is a... Rhyme or reason, is there? Well, everything went smoothly. You can say that for a funeral.
Son mi amor. I don't care. I don't want to near me. I was in here the other day uh, uh, with a friend of mine, and uh, you sold me something for my husband. I remember. I used the granules in the bottle. I see. How is your husband and your friend? They said my husband died of a heart attack. Oh, well, I'm glad there were no complications. But there is a complication. I don't know who you are or what you are, but you're the only one who can help me understand this. The Death's Head Moth. Does that mean anything to you? It is said to be an eternal cage for disembodied spirits, for those who find no peace in death. The captured spirit can burst free only when it finds the proper mate and destroys it in an exchange of souls. The black moth will stop at nothing to free itself. Nothing.
It's so good to hear your voice. Are you all right? You sound upset. Oh, no. No, I'm all right. Uh, it's just the readjustment. Trying to keep busy. Is there anything you need? Uh, why don't you come over? Uh, we could go for a swim. I could use the company. I'd like to, but uh, I have an appointment. Oh. Well, why don't you just drop by, then? for a little while. I, I haven't seen you for a couple of days. I'm uh, kind of pressed for time. Larry, please come over. If you've ever loved me, I need to see you. All right. Maybe I better stop by. Come in. Oh, of course. Come in. I'll get you a drink. Uh, no, thanks. I uh, think we ought to get right down to it. Oh, down to what? Well, you told me I had to come over if I ever loved you. So I came over. Thought we ought to talk about it once and for all. I mean, we went through all this when Steve was alive. But he's not alive now. He's out of the picture. And Carol, you're a, a very attractive woman. You were lonesome. And, well, one thing just led to another. All of a sudden, you're Mr. Innocent. Since when was this a one-sided love affair? It never was a love affair, Carol. I'm sorry, I never really felt that way about you. But, but I thought... You made me think that if I... If Steve... Carol, you thought what you wanted to think. So... You came over to say goodbye. All right? Goodbye. Carol, it's not that I don't care for you. I don't need to be cared for. You'd better go. Your appointment's waiting. Friendship with the gentleman works quick as a buzz.
is Mrs. Norman there? This is Mrs. Madden. Oh, no, that's all right. Uh, I just called to say hello and see if she wanted company. Oh, of course not. Uh, please, don't disturb her. Thanks.
Hello. Larry. Larry. Please help me. He's getting back at me. Carol, is that you? I thought we had this out. What's happening? Carol, answer me! Very rare, very potent. Works quick as a buzz. All you need is this and an ounce of courage. <laughs> Carol.